So finally, 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 PlayStation has added a loyalty program um, for its users. So it's called PlayStation Stars and it's free to join. But if you're a PSN member, you do get access to exclusive perks. So the process for signing up is super easy, but you do need to do it um, on the PS app. So if you, if you don't have that app on your phone, you can go ahead and download it on either um, Apple or um, the Google Store and then, you know, just sign up. So that's how it works. Pretty easy. So there's no way for you to check the status of your PlayStation Stars membership or, you know, anything that has to do with PlayStation Stars on the actual console itself. You'll have to do all of that directly off of, you know, your phone. So the idea with PlayStation Stars is that you can earn rewards, uh, complete campaigns as well as, you know, win or unlock uh, rare digital collectibles. So when you open up your PS app, the first change you'll notice is now, now there's like a little um, tracking at the top um, right corner of the screen showing what level you're at. So there's four different levels for you to progress through. Right there, uh, I'm gonna click on it. When you click on it, it opens up the PlayStation Stars user interface. So you can see I'm at level one and I've got 1,207 points, but I just, you know, got those points from um, purchasing a, a new one year subscription to PlayStation Plus Extra. So as a PSN member, whenever you buy anything from um, the PlayStation Store, uh, including a membership, you know, you get points for that, that adds to your um, PlayStation Stars wallet. So if you click on your level one um, tracker at, uh, at the top there, you'll see another interface right there, which shows you your full game purchases. So you need to purchase one in order to move on to the next level. You also see how um, your progression is to you know, get to level two, as well as the number of rare and above trophies that you've got to win to progress to the next level. So three criteria right there. And it's the same for every level. There's you know, a certain amount of um, requirements or things that you need to uh, get to move on to the next one. And each level also comes with its own unique benefits. From this same page, you can also check out your point history or the overview of the PlayStation Stars and what it's all about, as well as you know, manage your membership, maybe cancel it if you don't wanna be a part of it anymore. So below that, we've got something that looks like um, the inspiration was taken from God of War, but I think it's your display case. So uh, you can see right there, this is where you would display your ultra rare um, uh, digital collectibles, like if you do unlock any of them. So this is where you showcase them, you know, for your friends and whatnot. Below that, we've got three tabs. We've got campaigns, we've got rewards, and we've got collectibles. So campaigns are, you know, what you would complete um, to win different things like points or unlock, say, you know, um, a collectible. Like, you know, it's what you have to do to gain things. All right, so you can see we've got a few campaigns already for the month of October. You can see it says how many days you've got left, so 26 days left, so October check-in. So it's just a check-in. So this one seems pretty easy. So play any game, PS4, PS5. From what I read about the PlayStation Stars loyalty program, you know, we're gonna get one of these every month where you just kind of just check in. You can uh, get an uncommon collectible, so not a rare or ultra rare or anything like that. It's just, you know, some regular stuff. Uh, and it says right there that it's auto-registered, so the progress, so you don't have to do anything. Once you play, it just kind of does its, th its thing and, you know, counts towards uh, succession. So uh, objectives, play any game, PS4 or PS5, doesn't matter. Just play a game and you've done your check-in for the month. Um, below that, we've got one that gives you points. So 50 points um, if you grab your next favorite game. So buy one of these select games from PlayStation Store. Like, I, I think this is gonna be cool um, if, you know, you're already planning on buying one of these games. But otherwise, I don't, I don't see why you should go ahead and just buy a game just to win 50 points, you know. But if you're already considering it, or you know, you already plan on buying it, then why not, you know? Makes perfect sense. Get some extra points while you're at it. So um, you can hit view products and you see it just brings you to it and you can go ahead and buy it. All right, so that's PlayStation Store picks there. We've got another one called the World Warriors Challenge. So for this one, we've got another uncommon collectible. So novelty toy uh, fight trophy, um, and it's auto, also auto registered. So pick a fight to honor 30 years of Hadoukens. And we've got four different um, games right here that you can play. I'm not really sure how this one works, but I, I'm guessing that you have to play one of them and fight in it to um, unlock that collectible. I'm not certain, but you know, it seems like that's what it is. We've also got another one here, 41 days left. Sony Cord Machine, it hit play. Uh, so that's, an, that's, a, that's a Sony Cord, that's the Sony Cord Machine. So you get a heroic collectible. So that we've left the uncommon space now. We've now moved out to heroic. You can see right here, we're auto-registered description. Launch the game matching a C.1994 song. I'm not gonna be doing this one. I know nothing about the Sony Cord machine. As you can see under the rewards tab, we've got a bunch of digital collectibles that you can buy with points that you've won. So, you know, some rare ones there for 200 points and whatnot. Like I've got 1200 points. I can decide to pick up one of these, these if I want, but I don't really care about, you know, the pink monkey diorama or the punto diorama. You know, not, not, not for me at least. I, I, maybe I'll buy one of them just to throw it in like the collectibles case to show you guys, you know? So there's also PS Store rewards. Oh, actually, you know what? I might just save my points until I can buy games. Cause now nah, that, that, that to me is worth 
saving points. Like everyone's got reasons why they want to keep get their points, but I think I'm just going to try to win, you know, the, uh, or unlock the collectibles by completing campaigns, but I'm saving my points to pick up games, whatever they are. I'd rather just buy a game with that because that to me is real value or even the uh, store wallet credit. So you can buy a store wallet credit uh, using this. That's cool right there, man. Under collectibles tab, you can see we've got the Stargazer telescope. Um, this is a very common collectible. I've already got it. I think this one I got just because you know, I registered for the PlayStation Stars um, program. So when you register, you probably get this right here. So let's see our collectibles. So I can view my collect. That's my collectible, the one that I've already unlocked right there. So you see them all on this page right here. So it looks like that's pretty much it for um, the PlayStation Stars, at least for now. PlayStation is planning on adding a bunch of um, new features um, as time uh, goes on. At least that's what they said. So they say they're going to develop this and, you know, keep pushing it forward. So right now, you know, it's an okay start, nothing crazy. I'm not blown away or anything like that, but you know, it's somewhere to start. So let me know what you guys think about the new PlayStation Stars um, loyalty program down in the comment section. And if you guys uh, plan on joining the program, like I said, it's free to join. You don't even have to have a PS Plus um, membership. All you've got to do is download the app and pretty much just sign up for it. So um, let me know if you guys are going to be downloading it as well. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you.